you up to? Working on my shorty scrubs. Your what? My shorty scrubs. You'll see. Why are you making those? Because. Because I am behind schedule. What? My whole life, I have been on a strict schedule, and it's worked out really well for me. Valedictorian by age 17, finished my, my first research project by the end of sophomore year, graduate a year early so I have time to travel before med school, meet a boy first year, be thoroughly in love by third year so we can couples match, to be married after intern year so that I could be pregnant with twins by the time I was a chief resident. However, the boy I started dating first year turned out to be a subpar mate, and now I'm single and behind schedule. And since it's third year, and I'm constantly in a hospital, I figured I should start working on trapping a man there. Hence, the shorty scrubs. Uh, why don't you just wear nice outfits to and from the hospital? I'm not sure that meets OSHA regulations. We'll see. Hey, how about you? Weren't you on a date tonight? What happened? Oh, I don't know. Same thing that happens every time. First, it's all pleasant small talk, but then she asks me about myself, and I end up talking about that 2010 JAMA article about surgical glaucoma depressurization. Then it all goes downhill. But did you tell her about how it's essentially a triple blind study on the blind? That's the best part. I know! Who wouldn't find that entertaining? But I guess I'm just not meeting the right kind of girl. But I think I might have the solution to our relationship woes. Ooh, tell me. The results of the third year dating block lottery are up. The DBL? What'd you get? Oh, it looks like I start off with a date with a guy in medicine, then this cute EM guy, and the neuro after that. I start with surgery. What? Surgery before medicine? That's crazy. What are you going to talk about? I don't know. Well, I don't think I want to date a surgeon anyway, so I guess it doesn't make a difference. Plus, it's pretty early, so, you know, hopefully she'll go easy on me. We're going out on Friday. When's your first date? Next week. I gotta start getting ready. Exploratory laparotomy with lysis of adhesions, mobilization of the splenic and hepatic flexures, radical left hemicolectomy with left colon, sigmoid, and transverse resection, periodic lymph node dissection with uh, local rectal anastomosis, appendectomy, omentectomy, rigid rectal colonoscopy, uh, abdominal washout, and a complex abdominal wall closure and paniculectomy. It just took a little bit longer than I thought. Uh -huh. Anyway, so uh, what are you eating? Did you order? Just a drink. Cool, cool. Uh, I'll have the big con and iced tea. I'm just gonna catch a few Z's. You know, eat when you can, sleep when you can. And don't fuck with the pancreas. Oh, hey, hey, food's here. Oh, great, thanks. Let's do this. Sponge. laparoscopically? Oh yeah, I've been refining this technique for months. I'm hoping to present it at the National Surgical Conference next fall. But how do you get it in your mouth? Waitress, met. Ooh, that looks good. Sterile field. Just leave it. Oh. 
So I hope it wasn't too much trouble for you to get here. No, it was easy. We're in on the five. Do you come here often? No. I used to when I was in residency. I just, I really love this place. Yeah, it looks really interesting. I don't think I've been here before. So, so how have you been? Good. Well, you're a doctor, so maybe I can ask you. And you let me know if you want to leave work at work. But I've been getting this really weird headache lately. It starts around the back of my head. And then my eyes get really dry and tired. And it's been going on ever since I started third year. Nothing seems to make it better or worse. What do you think? Hmm. Give me a differential. What? No, not you. I hope you don't mind. I brought my team with me. This is a teaching restaurant. So, team, give me a differential. Pseudo tumor cerebral. Dehydration? Medication overuse? Bacterial meningitis. Drug seeking behavior. Bingo! Drug seeking behavior. We'll have to keep that in the back of the mind for the rest of the night. So, do they come with you everywhere? Well, we're on call right now, so yeah. I guess you could say they're my call. <laughs> See what I did there, team? I made a joke. Okay? A little joke, lighten the mood. Alright? Now, why did I do that? Oh, oh, I know, I know, I know. Uh, it was the applause study in 2001 that showed that uh, making jokes increases pants infiltration by 38% over uh, politics or weather comments alone. Yes. Very good, very good. Okay, so you answered, so you, why don't you give it a try? Whoop. First, ask the lady. Good, 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 good evening. Is it okay if I uh, ask you a joke? Um, will it hurt? Um, it's not supposed to hurt. I've, I've never done it before, so it might hurt a little bit. Oh, okay. Okay, so uh, good evening, madam. How are you doing today? I'm good. That's what she said. Who is she? It, it, that, that's the joke. Okay, okay. That, that was good. That was good. For an MS3 of your level, that was very good. But let me give you some feedback first, okay? That wasn't so much a joke as it was a funny comment that people say in different contexts like that was delicious or I'm full or oh my gosh that's huge but in your context it was I still like the humorous connection that you made um, so it was still very good would you agree I guess so so wait you guys are on call are you all allowed to be out of the hospital and out to dinner yeah, yeah. No, no, no. It's fine. I mean, what, what's the worst that could happen? Hold 99 oh, five, to nurses six, station seven, 71, eight, 73, nine, 81, five, 84, five, medical five, ICU, five, five, and lecture hall 1A. Call Where 99. is the medical team? Well, you're the attending. I guess you know best. So, what's the anticipated treatment plan? Um, well, Finish dinner here. Oh, with dessert? Well, I don't know. I think we can do that as, as an outpatient service. Yeah, that sounds fine. Getting dessert here would not be cost effective. Exactly. Then rehab at my place. Okay, so after we got the Epi in, we were finally able to get the endotracheal tube down, and we didn't even need to give him a cry. Wow. And then what happened? Uh, don't know. I guess someone took him to another part of the hospital or something. What? D did he live? Was he okay? Was there any brain damage? Don't know. My shift ended and I went home. Okay. Well, that's a pretty cool story. That's a cool... It's very... I wonder what happened. Uh, this restaurant looks uh, pretty good. Oh, I love it. It's one of my favorites. I guess you could call me a frequent flyer here. The filet of sole with avocado aioli is really superb. Oh yeah, I was looking at that. That looks really good. Okay, gotta go. What? What? Where are you? What? What's going on? Hey, where are you going over there? Hey! Oh, she's not... I'm Dr. Cargo Pants, the resident. Um, I was briefed on your hobbies and your personality by Dr. Wired over there, and I confirmed uh, Confirmed her evaluation of 7 out of 10 attractiveness. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, what are we ordering? Um, I was looking at this fish over here. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. 
Uh, people always get that. They come, they, uh, they leave full and satisfied. I think it'll work here too as well. Waitress, two filet of sole, please. All right, okay. gotta wait, go. Wait, where are you? Why? Hi, I'm the attending on duty tonight. How you doing? Hi. Mm. Good, I guess. The fish is really good. So I think my team pretty much took care of everything, but I wanted to come by and have a look at you myself. So I'm going to go get started on your paperwork, and the next attending on duty will be by to join you for dessert. But I'm going to be honest with you, it's kind of a busy night, and there are more attractive and more desperate men than you that need to be seen first. So there might be a little bit of a wait. So just, you know, try to have a little bit of patience with us, okay? Great. What paperwork? I'd like to recommend the imitation crab salad. Oh, okay. It's I'll delicious. have that. Are you trying to intimate me? Well, yeah. Everybody knows that the way to a girl's heart is through her trachea. Yes, but never on the first date. Seriously, we just met. Fine. I'll keep the face mask handy just in case. Okay. So tell me, how much longer is this dinner gonna last? Um, I don't know. Why? Like 10 minutes, 20 minutes? Just give me a rough estimate. I really don't know. I guess I'm almost done. Why? No reason. Hey, what are you doing over there? Oh, nothing. Not on the first. Hi. Hi. I've been like, looking forward to this date. I think you guys are so nice. Oh, thanks. I hope I can live up to that reputation. So tell me, do you live around here? Yeah, just at the block. Chris, what, what city is this? Brooklyn. Very nice. Do you know the year? The season? 2012. It's winter time. It's snowing. You're funny. Two plus, very nice. Up to out the place. How? Well, hello, lovely lady. So, what brings you here today? Uh, well, I'm on a date with a 23 year old woman. GCS score 15. Nice. That's a change for you. Humor's three out of five bilaterally. There's a, a slight facial asymmetry, uh, but I think that's her baseline. Mini mental status score is a solid 19. I, I don't know her that well yet. Uh, and no times three. Well, good luck. Let me know how the sensory exam goes. That's just Dr. Kepper, he's a friend of mine from work. Um, so I'm going to tell you three things about myself. Uh, I'm going to ask you to repeat them back to me in a couple of minutes. You think you can do that? Yeah, sure. Great. Um, so yeah, I was born inside an MRI machine. Uh, they didn't really know what they were used for back then, but it really set the course for the rest of my life. So what do you have next? Gyno. Gyno? You know what that means? Yeah, cool. Intern, and I've never done this before. Oh, that's okay. Nothing about what I'm about to do should hurt. While it may be uncomfortable at times, please do tell me if something does hurt and I will adjust my technique. Oh. Oh, oh! What a bummer. Oh, 
all your invitations, and I didn't find a specialty I'm on a date yet. What about that gyno lady? Well, she tried to examine me colorectally, so that didn't really work out. Oh. I'm hoping Alexis will be better. I'm doing family medicine and peds. I want to find someone who just wants to settle down. Okay. I'm doing ortho, neurosurgery, derm. I want to find a woman who can provide. <laughs> this is a hella competitive. What if you don't match? Well, yeah. There's always the scramble. That hot new online dating site. Woo! Thanks so much for waiting. So, uh, I hear this place is really good. I, I, I'm really excited for it. And good morning to you, too. And you and me, no matter how they toss the dice, it had to be the only So, how did the date go? Well, let's just say she didn't have any satellite anesthesia. Ha <laughs> nice. Yeah, I did the full sensory exam. Oh, nice. She didn't have any urinary or fecal incontinence.